and welcome back to the One Shot Adventures channel. Today, we are in Myanmar once again, checking out the mystical Mount Popper. The Mount Popper Monastery sits at 1,500 meters above sea level, on top of a surreal tower of volcanic rock. But as serene as it looks from afar, climbing up Mount Popper is quite different thanks to its thousands of hairy inhabitants and the mess they leave behind. So much poo. Mount Popper is only 50 kilometers away from Bagan, which makes it a very popular half day trip for tourists. But we decided to make our stay a little longer. And for an overnight Mount Popper experience, there is one option that is leagues above the rest. After about an hour and a half, the minibus dropped us off on a stunning green mountain top, where we got our first look at where we would be spending the night. I think we may have been a little bit overindulgent with our accommodation choice. Welcome to the Popper Mountain Resort and the view from our amazing villa. Wow. We had this balcony all to ourselves, complete with uninterrupted views of the famous monastery and the beautiful mountain scenery around it. This whole place feels like a tree house. So cool. The whole resort is hidden in the jungle with wooden platforms leading through the trees and more than its fair share of luxuries. Check out this view from the pool. Does not get much better than that. And to be honest, as you walk around the place, you can't escape amazing views of the monastery from every angle. I'm not gonna lie, this place is in no way affordable on any kind of backpacking budget, but We've been traveling for six months now, so we thought we'd treat ourselves to a nice night in a great hotel, and this view is so worth it. The sunset from our private balcony was completely surreal. The monastery stands alone in the plains with nothing around it for miles. And in the peace and quiet, you can hear the distant sounds of prayers coming from the peak. A few hours later, we woke up for the sunrise, which is very easy when you've got your own balcony view. And it was equally as magical as the night before. After some breakfast with a few more views, it was time to climb the mountain itself. We took a tuk-tuk down to the village at the base of the monastery and came face to face with Mount Popper's most famous inhabitants. So we just arrived at the base of Mount Popper and we're starting to walk up now through this kind of covered market area. And I don't think I've ever seen so many monkeys in one place. It's estimated that nearly 2,000 rhesus macaques live on and around the monastery. And you will see plenty of them as you walk up the 800 steps to the summit, because they are definitely not shy. Like all sacred sites in Myanmar, you don't wear shoes when you're inside the monastery, which is never usually an issue, but with the monkeys running riot, it's not the most sanitary experience. Pretty steep climb up. It also faintly smells of monkey piss and shit. These little guys go where they want, they eat where they want, and most noticeably, they poo where they want. There's a pretty strong smell of monkey poo all the way up, and there's actually people cleaning the steps constantly, so we know why. Let's just say I couldn't wait to get back and wash my feet. <laughs> At the summit, we finally entered the actual monastery and got some views of the surroundings. The 
monastery was built in tribute to what locals call Nat Spirits, which are the souls of humans who have suffered particularly violent deaths. But over the years, the temple has been fused with Buddhist beliefs as well. So we've made it to the top, and it's actually a much smaller area than I expected, but the views are really nice. The Mount Popper Monastery gets its name from the volcano that created it. The real Mount Popper is now extinct, but still towers over the scenery below. I feel like this is one of those places that is much more impressive to get a view of than to climb up. It's, when you're at the top, there's just not a whole lot to see apart from the views, unless you're a practicing Buddhist where you can see that it's quite an important place to come. But as a tourist, I think it's much more interesting to get the view of it. The whole climb and visit took us about an hour. And then we returned to the resort to catch a ride back to Bagan. It's so strange seeing the view of the mountain from here is just so different from being on there. Looking at it now, it just looks so mystical and surreal, but being up there is such a different experience. So all in all, my comprehensive review of Mount Popper would be views, good, climb, bad. Honestly, unless you're really stuck for things to do in Bagan, I wouldn't even bother with the day trip here, but if you do, just make sure you keep your distance. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. The very last Myanmar video will be going up very soon, so I'll see you next time.